this uh, is focused on, on the area of interprofessional education, which of course is a major preoccupation of the Wilson Center. Uh, Scott Reeves is, uh, is uh, one of our lead researchers in that area. And uh, he's, um, of course, the editor of the Journal of Interprofessional Care as well, and uh, along with many others at the Wilson Center. It's also an area of special focus for this hospital because we have the Center for Interprofessional Education with us. Where is Maria? And so the hospital has also decided to make a serious, uh, a serious commitment to the area of interprofessional education. So to have uh, very distinguished visitors from Japan come and speak to us about the work going on in Japan is a great, a great pleasure. So um, first of all, our university is founded in 2001 with the uh, uh, mission of to raise the QOL supporters, which means quality of life supporters, and our. Our uh, university consists of five departments, uh, PT and OT, uh, speech pathologist, uh, nutritionist, and uh, social workers. Uh, strong leadership of our uh, ex-president, Amy Takahashi, was there. So we owe a lot of from, uh, to him. And, um, but the first curriculum of this university <laughs> very stark. <laughs> As you see, so uh, there's no little, little room for the IPs. So, what the solution to be? And we invented <laughs> And this is a scheme of IP in our curriculum. Uh, the horizontal line uh, shows some um, yearly uh, process from the uh, first grade to the fourth grade. And the uh, vertical, grade, uh, vertical line means the degree of uh, collaboration. So there's some kind of the arrangement of the uh, subjects. 2 solve the problems resulting from those backgrounds, no single profession can handle them. We have to share we have to share information of cases. Then we have to share then we have to understand understand each other. In order to work effectively. Therefore, collaboration among the health care and the social welfare professions is strongly required. Sapporo Medical University is located in the center of Sapporo. Our university has both a medical school and school of health science, which includes department of nursing, occupational therapy, and physical therapy. The Center for Medical Education is a newly established organization consisting of three departments. The departments in our university, two initiatives, additional community internship program and team-based training program have been undertaken by both the School of Medicine and School of Health Science aimed at preparing medical personnel who will serve the community. The first is a residential community internship program under which students are requested to stay at, at the remote community for a certain period of time. The second is a team-based training program under which student capacity to cooperate with other professionals is expected to improve. By integrating the two programs, a joint curriculum of the two schools a team-based residential community internship program was initiated in uh, 2004. Uh, so next evaluation is to understand other uh, professions. Uh, nursing uh, gained uh, the score, uh, increased the score after IPE. Uh, similarly, occupational uh, therapist has increased the score and especially the social worker has showed most uh, uh, higher score after IPE. I think this is very interesting. However, uh, physiotherapist 
uh, showed uh, minimal uh, in, uh, increase after IPE, and this was not significant. I think uh, this difference between physiotherapy and social workers is uh, quite interesting and should be analyzed further. Uh, established by um, <coughs> Tokyo Metropolitan Government. Uh, so we have to uh, spend much, much time to prepare the interpersonal uh, education. <coughs> so uh, this year, so 2011, so we, we could start the interpersonal education at last. <laughs> so basically we have uh, so three projects. Uh, Basis is so domestic uh, collaborate with uh, the uh, three uh, two universities uh, to uh, pro hold the seminar uh, based on group work and the other things so international so uh, as you know uh, so we have so uh, been to conti continuing to international exchange student and also web based real time uh, learning and. Uh, this time, so I have I have been uh, here so by five universities project uh, in IP. What the uh, presentations have uh, shown us today is that there's some really interesting work going on uh, across Japan. And um, watching from my viewpoint, uh, initially in the UK and now in Canada, uh, in the last five or so years, there's been some really, really um, fascinating developments uh, in terms of interprofessional education across Japan. I mean, the consortium today is a really good indication about the, uh, about the difference and uh, the, the width of work which is uh, occurring. There's, there's, there's certainly the next step to start to think about how we can collaborate uh, internationally to start learning um, about some of our, our, our sort of shared challenges beginning dialogue to sort of see how we can address them uh, collaboratively as well. So I think the next sort of few years, uh, I think we can start uh, really kind of coming together and thinking about how we can do uh, things internationally and learn from one another's experiences as well. I'm also curious about the growth of scholarship in, and some of you talked about looking at student learning, knowledge, uh, skills and attitudes and that's certainly where we started here in Toronto and um, internationally, but we're now interested in looking at, so what's the impact on care? What's the impact on organizations and um, the system, the healthcare system as a complex adaptive system? So I look forward to chatting with you about that. And I think, you know, key to that issue of sustainability, um, we probably have some learnings and, and things to talk with you about in terms of how you've engaged your leaders in the academic and practice uh, settings as well as, again, just how you've worked with them at that integration point. So it was wonderful to be able to hear what you're doing individually, but also what you're doing collectively. And we look forward to the next few days that you have here with us in Toronto. So on behalf of Scott, Brian, and myself, I just want to also thank everyone for being here this evening. Mm -hmm.